It is Thursday of auction week in Scottsdale, Arizona. Today we've had Bonhams, Russo and Steel, Bear Jackson. My name's Adam Martin with Haggerty Insurance. I'm joined by Rob Sass. And I'm Dave Kinney. We're going to go through the numbers today, and I think, Dave, why don't you give us a heads up on what happened? All right. We have three auctions that happened today. First is Bonhams. Uh, it was a one-day sale. Um, they sold 90 of 112 cars offered. That's 80% for $12.1 million. That is mm -hmm. almost double what they did last year at $6 million. And we can expect probably they're going to have a few after sales that added to it. All these uh, auction mm -hmm. houses will have a couple of uh, after sales. Uh, Russo and Steel, 128 cars sold out of 188 offered, 68% sale uh, for a total of $2.9 million. Uh, against last year's 3.1. Let's just call that just about the same as where mm -hmm. they were last year. Um, once again, they could have some after sales that would, uh, that would increase that number. And finally, Barrett Jackson, 689 out of 689 cars. That's to date. <laughs> Uh, wow, that's like a hundred percent sell through rate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can do the math on that. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly a hundred percent. Twenty four point four million against last year's twenty one point nine million. It looks like we're all good. We're off to a very good start for uh, auction week two thousand thirteen. Do you see anything interesting at all today, Rob? <laughs> yeah. Well, to hell with the Mayans. The real sign of the apocalypse happened today at Bonhams. A Fiat Spider, a nineteen sixty nine red Fiat Spider. Sold for forty-eight thousand two hundred dollars. Three hundred. Oh don't God. don't cut it short. It was three hundred dollars. Oh, sorry. I, I was involved in that sale. I had a client who was interested in it, and there was spirited bidding on that car. This just wasn't one or two people. There were phones active, literally from around mm -hmm. the world, including one they announced from Hong Kong. You know, this is something that we see. This phenomenon of incredibly nice cars bringing incredibly big numbers. However, mm -hmm. you know what happens. Next year, we'll see lots of the yeah, 124 yeah. 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 Uh, Seriously, Dave, though, that's, that's the money for the probably the best Alfa Romeo duetto on the right. planet. But those cars in period were very, very popular, much more popular than Alfa Duetto as far as the duetto as far as that goes, because uh, you know they sold a lot of Fiats, mm -hmm. yeah. and a lot of people had them when they were younger, and now's maybe the time that they want to buy them back. Let's talk about some of the big cars, Adam. Yeah, I was impressed by a really beautiful Mercedes Vance going uh, in beautiful color, the strawberry metallic, which you don't see very often. Mm -hmm. I've seen it at a few Concours, and this one ended up selling at the Hammer at eight hundred and ten thousand dollars, which I thought was an extremely strong number for Eight, that color. 896 car was, I believe, an original uh, Rudge Wheel car mm -hmm. and a color change from what I understand. The car started mm -hmm. out life as yeah. silver. Um, I have an interesting car that uh -huh. I saw also at, uh, at Bonhams uh, for $885,000, a Ferrari 365 GTC. This was a special. It was a car that was owned by the Pirelli family from new. A couple of cool things about it had different side vents than the uh, uh, every, you know, not every other 330 GT, well, it is every other 330 and 365 <laughs> GTC. So a couple of little specializations also had star mags, uh, originally delivered with star mags instead of with, uh, with the uh, wire wheels. Uh, 885000 very, very strong price for that car. Um, you know, we see GTCs for pretty close to half that, don't we, Ron? We do, yeah. and that's double Daytona money right now. You know, the Bonhams is really to be congratulated here. They doubled. Um, you know, mm -hmm. and, and we're, we're not always talking about a strong market on some of the smaller cars. They did very, very well. Mm -hmm. Thursday is typically not prime time for these auctions. No. Very, very strong showing by the three auction houses tonight. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we, we can't tell what's going to happen Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're expecting now some very, very big numbers and some real surprises coming out of Friday and Saturday. Um, we have, you know, Barrett has all their, they're keeping their powder dry. They've got lots mm -hmm. of ammunition. Russo and Steel, same thing. We haven't even heard from Gooding, which starts tomorrow. It will be a two-day sale. RM is now a one-day sale, and that will be tomorrow as well. So tomorrow night's update is going to be very, very important. It's going to tell us a lot about the state of the market. And stay tuned for more coverage from Haggerty.